Another day, another story. First human recipient of pig kidney transplant dies. What is xenotransplantation, why pigs are used? Richard, Rick, Slayman, the first human recipient of a genetically modified pig kidney transplant, has passed away nearly two months after undergoing the pioneering procedure. Slayman, 62, received the transplant at Massachusetts General Hospital, MGH, in March 2024. Welcome to Tabo Eminent Channel. His death, however, was not attributed to the transplant itself, Daily Journal, Harvard Gazette. The kidney, provided by biotechnology company eGenesis, had been genetically edited to improve compatibility with human recipients and eliminate potential risks of infection. This transplant marked a significant milestone in addressing the organ shortage crisis, offering hope for future advancements in xenotransplantation, Mass General Brigham. Slayman had previously undergone a kidney transplant in 2018, but when that kidney began to fail, he resumed dialysis in 2023. Complications with dialysis led his doctors to suggest the innovative pig kidney transplant as an alternative. Harvard Gazette. WDIY. Despite the outcome, this procedure represents a notable step forward in medical science, potentially paving the way for more successful xenotransplants in the future. Richard, Rick, Slayman, the first person to receive a genetically modified pig kidney, passed away nearly two months after his groundbreaking transplant at Massachusetts General Hospital, MGH, in March 2024. His death was not directly caused by the transplant, which had been seen as a significant advance in addressing the organ shortage crisis, Harvard Gazette, Med Express. Following the surgery, Slayman was initially discharged from the hospital in early April, marking what he described as one of the happiest moments of his life. He expressed immense gratitude to his medical team at MGH for their exceptional care and was hopeful about the future, free from the burdens of dialysis, the independent, Med Express. Although his kidney functioned well initially, producing urine and maintaining body fluid balance, the long-term success of such transplants remains uncertain, and Slayman experienced some complications typical of organ transplants, the independent, Med Express. Despite his passing, the procedure represents a critical step in the development of xenotransplantation and offers hope for thousands of patients on transplant waiting lists, the independent, Med Express. The pig kidney used in the transplant was genetically modified to reduce the risk of rejection and infection, involving 69 genetic edits. These modifications included removing pig genes that human antibodies typically react to, adding human genes to improve compatibility, and inactivating porcine endogenous retroviruses to prevent infection. Home. The kidney was provided by eGenesis, a company specializing in xenotransplantation therapies. The surgery, performed under the FDA's Compassionate Use Protocol, aimed to address the critical shortage of donor organs. Over 100,000 people in the U.S. are on transplant waiting lists, with kidneys being the most in-demand organs. The successful integration of the pig kidney initially produced urine and showed normal kidney function, offering hope for future xenotransplant procedures, Yahoo News latest news and headlines. Despite the eventual complications and Slayman's passing, this pioneering effort marks a significant milestone in medical science, potentially opening doors for further advancements in xenotransplantation and providing new hope for patients with end-stage organ failure. Why are xenotransplantations done, and what complications can arise due to them? Representational xenotransplantation. Essentially, it is the use of animal cells and organs to heal humans. Xenotransplantation involving the heart was first tried in humans in the 1980s. The first recipient of a modified pig kidney transplant passed away on Saturday, May 11, around two months after the surgery was carried out. The family members of 62-year-old Richard, Rick, Slayman and the Massachusetts General Hospital, where the procedure was performed, did not link the transplant operation to his death. We have no indication that it, Slayman's death, was the result of his recent transplant, the hospital said in its statement. His family also thanked doctors for their work and said, their enormous efforts leading the xenotransplant gave our family seven more weeks with Rick. What is xenotransplantation? According to the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, FDA, 
Xenotransplantation is any procedure that involves the transplantation, implantation or infusion into a human recipient of either a. live cells, tissues, or organs from a non-human animal source. Or, b. human body fluids, cells, tissues or organs that have had ex vivo contact with live non-human animal cells, tissues or organs. Essentially, it is the use of animal cells and organs to heal humans. Xenotransplantation involving the heart was first tried in humans in the 1980s. The need for such a procedure was felt because of the significant gap between the number of transplantations needed by patients and the availability of donor organs. In the United States alone, there are nearly 90,000 people waiting for a kidney transplant, and more than 3,000 people die every year while still waiting. The website of Columbia University's Department of Surgery also points to evidence of neurodegenerative disorders and diabetes being treated with the help of animal cells and tissues. How does xenotransplantation happen? In 2023, Dr. Robert Montgomery, the chief of New York University Longoni's Transplant Institute, told Associated Press that sewing a pig kidney into a donated body isn't much different than a regular transplant, and, post-surgery immune-suppressing drugs are standard, too. But there are several crucial additional steps. For one, the animal organ selected has to undergo genetic modifications, so that the human body does not reject it. A report from the Harvard Medical School, whose physicians were involved in Slayman's operation, said 69 genomic edits were made to the pig kidney in his case. The gene editing technology CRISPR-Sas9 was employed to remove certain pig genes that produce sugars with antibodies our immune systems react to, and add certain human genes to improve the kidney's compatibility with humans. Why are pigs often used for xenotransplantation? Pig heart valves have been used for replacing damaged valves in humans for over 50 years now. The pig's anatomical and physiological parameters are similar to that of humans, and the breeding of pigs in farms is widespread and cost-effective. Also, many varieties of pig breeds are farmed, which provides an opportunity for the size of the harvested organs to be matched with the specific needs of the human recipient. In January 2022, the first xenotransplantation of a genetically modified pig heart was done. However, the patient passed away after two months due to a range of factors, including being tainted with a latent virus in the pig heart, which may have contributed to the dysfunction of the transplant. What are the complications in xenotransplantation? First, it has to be ensured that the body does not reject the organ. According to the NYU Longoni website, one method of doing this is embedding the pig's thymus gland, responsible for educating the immune system underneath the outer layer of the kidney. This helps keep away any new or delayed immune responses. Another public health concern is the possibility of cross-species infection by retroviruses, which may be latent and lead to disease years after infection. Thanks for watching request you to subscribe the channel.